All right, welcome everybody. I, I love this. This is tough. <laughs> welcome to Relay Distribution. <laughs> like, welcome to what's up two. YouTube? Everybody <laughs> says, what's up YouTube? So, product development has been going really well this week. We've had a ton of new samples come in. Uh, probably around 40 to 50 different samples from all the different brands. Valer came in for an in-person fitting, which is great. Uh, we had different size set samples for them, new collections, existing collections, multiple fittings. Um, and we actually had a collection approved, which is great news with revisions. And it's, it's always fun seeing products you've been working on with the client being approved and for ready for production because um, you spend a lot of time you know, working on these products, so it's always good to see that everything is along the right lines in terms of like the way it should fit, the way it feels, et cetera, et cetera. And then Echo was yesterday. I, I love this. This is tough. Dude, that's a sick Ooh, outfit, bro. Damn, man. And this is like, so this one, I don't think there's anything else. You already done the check. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're good, you're good. Uh, do we need to change the string at all? Is so the string? the string, I'd like a better body. This has to be like a, like top notch. So this is why I love product development so much. Yeah. When you get the product to the customer and they fall in love with it, like it makes things so much more worth it. And honestly, we create products that we want for ourselves. That's always the goal because if, if we get a product and we're like, damn, this is so nice, we want it for ourselves, that's when you know you have a good product because our standards are usually way up here. And if we can satisfy our own standards, we're in good shape. He was ecstatic. I mean, the whole team was so happy about how all the new products came out along with the photography samples because a lot of the photography samples came in for them as well for their bulk production for their first bulk production with us and it just looks so great man we sp Damn, what, the fuck? what we do takes a little bit longer than if you're just copying another brand and or ordering off a catalog from your manufacturer what we do really is everything down to a T is built from scratch. And when you build from scratch, it takes longer. It, it takes much longer, but at the end of the day, it's much more rewarding because everything was tailored towards your expectations and your body and your brand. So much more rewarding in that sense. And uh, also we had a recent Murphy. We had a meeting yesterday for product development. A lot of their new products came in it showed up to Emily, so we had a meeting on that, and I was actually thoroughly surprised. She loved the products, and so, again, product development, she was extremely happy. Uh, Reese and Murphy came to us actually from another, she used to work with a previous product development company, and she's migrated over to us since, and she was very surprised. She had eight new samples show up and she was like extremely surprised at the timeline. She was like, wow, this is a lot quicker than I normally got from my other product development company, which is great news for us, right? She loved the price points, she loved the quality. And obviously with the first fittings or first round of samples, there's always feedbacks to be had. But the, the most important thing is the product shows up to the customer and we have a baseline to feed off of. Again, everything on her entire product line for her dog products were all built from scratch materials built from scratch as well and uh, it's completely custom so we got it to her in a shorter time frame probably by 5x than their normal manufacturers uh, or previous product development companies so that was great news um, and yesterday we had another great meeting which will help us for the fulfillment aspect and that was a company called PO. They had a giveaway and we had an initial interview, me, Derek, and Austin, and uh, we're very excited. It, it looks pretty promising that we have a great chance to be competitive in terms of possibly winning the giveaway. But I'll let Derek cover that a little bit more. Um, that's more on the fulfillment side. But we are extremely hopeful for this product for our warehouse because we know it can further innovate our process. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Marilyn. Have a good one. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, like 
we are the perfect case study. Yeah, we're an exponentially growing 3PL. We have a great personality on social media. We're not hurting for business. We're just hurting for space. And we are boutique, man. Like, like it seemed like she she kind of harped on like we want somebody who's gonna promote the product for dude, us. Dude, no like, no fucking hesitation will we do that shit. That would be so <laughs> sick. I mean, that would just help our content. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm like, saying, bro. So she met with us. She liked us. Um, I got the feeling that we were kind of like the number one candidate that she's met with. Uh, but the thing is, she has to take it obviously to her uh, mm -hmm. higher ups in the company. This is an industry where it's like if you're a normal 3PL and all you do is that what else do you have to talk about yeah in the sense of like okay if you didn't come from social media if you don't have an actual e-commerce background if if you don't do you anything don't, else don't roast in that other bro people. like that's what we started i mean he's business. right yeah he's like no, we, yeah. It's, it's just become such a a no-brainer in my opinion to why like we would be the perfect case study and honestly like we're self-promoting the product for them so right. when we put out a 3pl and we put it on youtube put it on instagram like it's just their product mm -hmm. and we're just doing more most businesses who are not in e-com or you or like social media you you wouldn't even share it. yeah so and then another thing you know, she asked was like what is our network like with would we recommend it to other business owners like do we know people who could use this product and we actually do you know our canada, we have, our canada location can, we have canada location yeah. we're considering i mean we have people here who, we know people here who have 50,000 plus square square foot facilities that do like print on demand and stuff that we could be like, yo, check this out. You know? yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and then not to mention LinkedIn is, we, we have a pretty good uh, network on LinkedIn of just a bunch of 3PO owners that- I mean, imagine if we pitched it to Joe yeah. and then Joe just like disperses it throughout, but like in terms of 3PLs for people that do fulfillment in Texas alone, I think we know like four. Bro, I'll, I'll be a PO influencer. Shit, me too, bro. I'm to be a PO man. influencer. Oh, so some exciting things going on this week. We entered a contest to win a uh, robotic system for our warehouse. Uh, the system is called PO and it works off of something called auto store technology. Uh, and what it is, is it's actually like a space saver for SKUs in our warehouse. One of our biggest challenges is space. As you guys probably have caught on by our videos, we're always trying to figure out ways to optimize our space. And I came across this giveaway for this system and it seemed like something that would honestly really benefit us. So we entered the contest. We had our first interview with uh, Marilyn over at PO and the conversation actually went really well. Daniel and I are, we actually feel pretty good about it. She said that we were the perfect candidates. You know, they were looking for somebody who was a startup early on, who uh, biggest struggle was actually uh, space and capacity and also had a, a social media presence. So, you know, a huge part of why we, we do this YouTube and, and do this uh, social media stuff is, is for marketing. So uh, the conversation, like I said, went really good. We're really excited about it. Uh, something like that would really benefit us. We, it would only take up around 500 square foot in our warehouse. What it is, it's, it's kind of like a big box and it has a bunch of bins stacked in it and little robots go across the top of it and pick and move the, the bins around and bring the items down to the, to the packers. And this would hold around like 1500 SKUs, which uh, if you look at our picking area, I don't know if you can see it behind me or not, but if you look at our picking area, that picking area holds around 2500 SKUs. And that space over there is, I wanna say 4,000 square feet. So, um, you know, imagine half of that picking area in 500 square feet, the footprint on that is actually very small and something that could really benefit us. What we're trying to do is cap or maximize the space that we're in and uh, you know make sure we're taking advantage of every square foot possible. Uh, not to mention we do want to add or we do want to put an add on to the warehouse which would give us around 5,700 more square feet and something like this system would be perfect for that area. We could probably put like two or three of them and then our space for 5,000 SKUs. So we're really excited about it. We think it's something that really benefit us uh, in the long run. So hopefully we can win this system, win the first one and then grow and scale off of that and maybe purchase a few more as we grow. Um, you know, Daniel and I have always talked about automating any process that we can. I know it's it's hard as a, as a startup company, you know, you don't have a bunch of funding. We're not backed by venture capitalists. So 
we don't have a million dollars to throw around for robotics or things like that. So this system was actually created for businesses our size. Uh, it's actually pretty affordable. So uh, really happy we came across it, excited to uh, have the opportunity to kind of move forward in the contest and hopefully we win. Uh, they're going to announce the winner on June 1st. Uh, on top of that, you know, more exciting things that are, that are going on in our business. We had our first full staff meeting. So we had our Canada team. We have two designers that work for the pro dev department in Canada. We had our fulfillment team, all of our full-time staff, and then uh, Austin, our content team. But uh, Q1 results went over Q2 goals, uh, what we're trying to do. Uh, and just really like realigned everybody with the business, you know, talked about our core values, our mission statement, why we do what we do. Really important to, to do stuff like this so that people understand why they're working for us and kind of what we're all working towards as a collective. And it was cool, you know, uh, first time I ever kind of stood in front of a uh, staff like that and, and gave a, a presentation, I guess, and I was really nervous, but I was telling Ashley, you know, I was really nervous but it's weird because I talk to these people on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm really close with, with all of our employees, but just standing up there in front of everybody, I was like, <laughs> like losing my train of thought, like getting nervous, but um, it's just, it was just, it's a really surreal moment, you know, made me really like appreciate how far we've come as a business and uh, really fortunate to be in the position to uh, have full-time employees and people that believe in our vision and what we want to do and uh, just come into work and enjoy their jobs and, and work hard for us. Uh, actually during that meeting we got our first shipment from the post so the truck like pulled up while we were having the meeting and we had been waiting on on the shipment for a few days so another example to talk about what I was talking about earlier with the robotic system is um, you know this the post is probably gonna have two three more trucks coming to us a lot of SKUs and uh, that system would be perfect for a client like this. We could store pretty much all of their products in this little system. So, um, like I said, would be would be great for us. But jumping back to the post, received their first of many truckloads. Um, we're working on getting that booked in right now. Actively behind us, you see uh, a scanning in product, all the stacks of pallets. Uh, that's all of their product coming in. So, what's the behind the scenes of how we book in our inventory. Behind the scenes? So they'll grab a box, open it up. Uh, all of our clients will upload a uh, purchase order in our software and that just basically tells us what we're expecting, how many units uh, and what items. So we'll open that up and then they will go through and scan each individual in it, uh, item in and it will basically Upload the inventory and then it'll input it into that PO. Our clients can cross reference it to see if like maybe they under receive something or over receive something and they can take care of it on their end. Uh, on top of that, for some of our clients, we also do a QC check. So we'll take 5% of the order that came in and we have some guidelines provided to us that we will check for with quality control, like you know, loose threading, holes, uh, stitching is weird. Uh, just, you know, anything that may be off, like coloring, so pretty extensive process that we go through, but I think we've got down a pretty good uh, method. So one cool thing about our system and that we're always looking out for is because there's multiple POs when different trucks come in, if I were to scan this one and it belonged to a different PO, it'll actually show me right here on the system. It'll give me the SKU, the name, the everything, and it'll say this product exists in another purchase order. So that's one great thing about our system. On top of that, we are still getting um, quite a bit of meetings every week regarding uh, fulfillment, content, pro dev. This week we met with a 3PL out in Dallas who doesn't really handle a lot of direct to consumer like we do. So could be a potential partnership there with sending us some clients on the uh, D2C side. And on top of that, he had, or he said he had about 18 brands that need product photography. So. That's a great opportunity for us on the content side. We're really trying to grow that leg and get some more contracts there. So um, I'll let Austin speak a little bit more on, on what's gonna go on with that. Like Derek said, we had a call with somebody in the Dallas area who is looking to send us some content clients. Um, and our content team would be very happy um, getting those clients and getting that product photography work for him. Currently, as we speak, he is sending us one of those clients and it is a chocolate company. But with this company, we are going to give them four shots per item or per SKU. 
So we're gonna give them a front bag shot. We're gonna give them a creative flat lay. We're gonna give them a close up detail shot of the chocolate. And then we're gonna give them kind of like a shot of choice. Now, something that we have to think about as well is this product is going to be listed on Amazon. So I'm looking at you and you. We all need to make sure that we know what Amazon requires because Amazon is kind of really weird with their product photography. The content department as a whole, we've just been waiting for our chance. We know we have the skills to do what people want and give them a very high quality product that not only we are proud of, but also something that they have no hesitation bragging about and showing that this is my brand. We've been doing it with Pipe Vice, we did it with Blush and Bashful, and now we get to work with Jackson and hopefully give him the same experience that we have given these other clients. You guys have anything to add or you're good? You're good? Okay, again, thanks for watching. Um, we'll catch you in the next one.